Hey, what's up guys, a Pat Camel here. I'm here playing Blade and Soul again. I'm playing on my assassin. It's my main character. And as you can see, I got this sick costume. Uh, the costume is called Flames. Right here. And then it comes with the... I, I got the... I, I actually got this thing first. It's, uh, it's like a it's glasses eyepiece or whatever. Mask, yeah. Uh, and then I got the uh, costume just now. Uh, and I got this from an uh, epic dungeon called Tomb of Sacrifice, so I'm gonna just quickly show you guys how to uh, go in the dungeon queue making system and then uh, hopefully if I get a group quick enough I'll be able to show you guys the full run. So yeah basically uh, I have my assassin and she is level 38. And uh, what you do when you want to queue up for dungeons is uh, down here, it's a uh, lobby. I, I, I think I've explained this on another video, but uh, yeah, lobby, or you can just press F8 and then it's going to ask you, you hit confirm, and then animation, uh, a little loading screen. Oh, by the way, I found out from pre uh, playing the characters in the game and they have a specific name I didn't know that so oh uh, yeah as you can uh, when you go when you come into the lobby there's a four-man party and six-man party but four-man parties are uh, they're all high-level epic dungeons so a six-man party uh, is here are all the lists uh, this is the first uh, epic dungeon that I talked to you guys about the southern sea fleet branch uh, you wanna, you wanna run this at least once at level twenty, uh, and then all these green ones, uh, they're they're pretty easy. They're uh, they're just your regular dungeons. There you can solo them if you're if you're high level or if you're skilled enough. And then the blue ones are special dungeons, and then the uh, purple ones are epic dungeons. So I'm gonna go ahead and queue for Tomb of Sacrifice. And you can have uh, dungeon options. Uh, you can have three options. So as you can see right here, if I want these three, that you can queue up at the same time. But I don't. I don't want to do these right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and queue. Enter queue. And it usually takes a couple of minutes, uh, depending on the time of the, uh, you know, time on time, time zone. So we got we got two players right now, and th this thing right here it's that means she's the party leader, uh, and she can just start the dungeon at any time. We don't have to have all six people. So yeah. Uh, this uh this dungeon Tomb of Sacrifice is a little harder than your first dungeon. Uh, if you come, if you come uh, before 30, 36, level thirty six, uh, at the bottom, at the bottom, I mean, at the, it says minimum minimum recommended weapon is ruthless dagger, uh, but it doesn't really tell you a requirement level. Uh, all the other one does, but this one doesn't. It's it just depends on your weapon level. Uh, but the Hongmin dagger doesn't have the ruthless dagger path, so I don't know what that equi what that is equivalent to. So I don't know. But you want to be at least thirty six. Uh, you can come before, but you're gonna have a hard time. Uh, I came in here when I was thirty. I mean twenty six, level twenty six, and I pretty much got one shotted by the bosses. So. Um, yeah, you wanna you wanna wait until you know at least at least thirty six, or I was I just say like 30, 34. So let's go ahead and tell her that uh, we can go. We can we can probably four minute. Alright, she just started it. 
go into the dungeon. There's a little lobby where you can sell your stuff. Uh, there's a there's a uh, warehouse, and let's go in. Side now, uh, let's go ahead and jump down here. Let's wait for our party members because I don't think I can solo the, the, uh, the big guy right there in the middle. Uh, the last one didn't come in. Uh oh, she had her. Some of our party members died, but uh, it's okay. I think we got this. We just pulled uh, way too many moms, I think. Alright, so we're just gonna wait for those two right here. Uh, party members, let them let them heal up a little bit. Actually, let's top a pot or something. Oh, actually, we didn't need to. That's okay. How, how is healing? 
I don't know he healed. Whoa. Pretty crazy. Man, I'm just, uh, I don't need anything from here. I already got everything I needed. I'm just doing, doing, the, doing the run for fun. It's a, it's a good way to, you know, escape from uh, your main story because it, it, get, it gets kind of repetitive, like questing, it gets, it gets repetitive and kind of boring. So um, you can just jump in a dungeon queue and then just run a couple of dungeons, you know, refresh. He hurt a little bit. I'm, I'm like half health. Let's go ahead and pop a potion. Alright. There we go. Alright. Right here, you wait for the. Uh... Actually, we need to kill uh, every single one of these. Seconds and then it spawns. Oh, okay, never mind. Then it spawn. is a uh, another mini boss Next area. Alright, now we jump down here. Uh, I don't know what that does to the left right here. It opens that door, but I don't know what it's for. Maybe, maybe for a quest? Let's go ahead and go down here. Next area. And then this is where the uh, the quest for the dungeon pops. Prowling Beast. Because uh, you're at the end here. This is the next mini boss. Well, I, I guess it's not a mini boss. Well, I don't know. You, 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 this guy is pretty hard if you try to solo. He does a lot of AoE damage, he like pummels the ground and like that. Oh. Yeah, but if you have teammates then uh, you, you, have, you guys have enough damage that it doesn't really matter, he dies too quick. So let's go ahead and continue and this last room coming up here is where the big boss is. Uh, cutscene. I'm gonna go ahead and skip it. Don't really need to watch it. Alright. 
So this is the Great Flame Sage. It's uh, it looks pretty dangerous. Let's go ahead and start. I'm gonna go ahead and go stealth. Press a bomb. Got me. Oh. All right. That's that. Yeah, pretty. Um, it's harder than the first epic uh, dungeon, but it's still you can still four minute if your uh, party is high high level enough. If you have like level twenties, and you might you might not be able to do it. But yeah, uh, at the end, you make sure you click on the reward, get your box, and then when you open up this box, there's uh, a lot a lot you can get from it. Um, I'm going to pass on everything, unless it's a costume, which I don't think there is. Oh, yeah, there's a hat. No, I don't want that. I want this though. I'm gonna go ahead and auction. Everybody's auctioning. Everyone wants this. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna go ahead and raise it up to 20 silver. See if anybody wants to stick around. Yeah, obviously. 20 silver is not that. Uh, okay, we went to 1 gold. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and keep uh, auctioning here. Okay, nobody has it. Alright, got it. Awesome. Alright, well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, I'm gonna head outside and then I'm gonna equip my helmet. Show you guys the whole, whole set. All right, let's. See. I I usually don't like hats uh, and stuff, and it looks really uh, different from what I want my character to look like. But uh, let's go ahead and see. Yeah, the hair changes. Oh, it actually pre looks looks pretty looks pretty nice. Yeah, I like that. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna keep it. Uh, and all the costumes that you get, you if you don't want it in your inventory, you can uh, put it in your wardrobe, and it's like a separate, separate uh, inventory, I guess, for just uh, clothes. And when you want it, when you want to switch, you can take it out of your uh, wardrobe to your inventory, and then equip it like that. So yeah. All right, uh, and then let me sh let me show you guys. When I open this box, you get a lot of stuff. You get a chest, you get a uh, weapons chest, and then you get a boba, and then you get um, some rings and stuff. Uh, I don't exactly know what I got. Yeah, you get. I got two weapon uh, boxes and a sage horn, uh, and a necklace and. Uh, blue box and a blue blow pay so uh, it depends uh, it differs every time you open a box what you get sometimes you get like a purple blow pay sometimes you don't sometimes you get like uh, you know all the uh, when you when you hover over the box uh, it shows you all the items that you can get so yeah uh, what I like to do is uh, keep the boxes so as you can see I already have like 10 flame weapon boxes uh, just keep the boxes and jewelry, jewelry in like a in your in your bank. So when you when you, as you can see right now, all my weapon and jewelry is maxed out right now. But when I upgrade it to the next level, uh, I uh, items to upgrade, upgrade it. 
Oh, I guess uh I guess I just uh yeah I guess I just went to the lobby. Alright, I'm gonna exit out here. that was it yeah um so for the flame weapon um uh, you want the flame weapon it, this is uh the awakened flame dagger stage 10 the the one stage with the one uh stage before that is the fifth stage it can go up to fifth stage and then you can upgrade it uh with the with the new dagger and then it goes up to stage 10 uh but before that you had the uh which was it? Uh, not the flame dagger. The ghost dagger. Yeah. Uh, you have the ghost dagger, right? I believe. Yeah, I believe you have the ghost dagger, and then from ghost dagger you can upgrade it to flame dagger using that uh, flame dagger for your your choice of sealed flame flame weapon. So. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.